All right, guys, here it is. Visit number two for the day. It's going to be a long day, but we're trying to move along. We're here to see Owl's tank. It's a 120 gallon water box. My hair is full of SPS. It's gorgeous. We're going to go inside. So let's go for number two. Here we go. All right, guys, we made it to tank number two. His name is Al. What's up, Al? Hey, how are you? Nice to see you, to see you man. Uh, it's a water box 110 Marine X. Just got it about a, a little over a year old. Okay. Transferred uh, most of these corals from a uh, water box 45 that had been running for almost two years. But actually, these two structures were from the 45, and then I added the uh, uh, Carib Sea Donuts in the middle. Tell me a little bit about all the equipment. So there's a start of the flow. What are you using for flow? So I got uh, two uh, Ice Cat 2K gyries okay. uh, running uh, in the back, and I got two uh, Nero 5s, and then one Nero 3 on the back corner over there. Okay. Obviously, I got a heavy SPS dominant tank, and I know flow is important, so I try to keep the flow really jamming. I'm fortunate that the way I set my rock structure up, I'm not uh, bombarding my euphilia with uh, too much flow because they don't like that. And as you can see, how open they are, uh, they're they're pretty happy. I see you got all your bunnies back here in the corner. You got a SPS on top. You got all your uh, torches all the way in the back. Uh, frog spawns here in the bottom, and all the miscellaneous LPS through there throw all the tank and the rest few clamps in the middle. Yep. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely enjoy it. And, you know, but I'm definitely an acro guy. Um, a lot of these came from the fish store and, uh, you know, and friends and whatnot. And I just, I they start off as little tiny frags and they, they start taking off. So how long have you been doing this hunting for? On and off, uh, at least 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. And you always been into aqua plows? Uh, yes, aqua it was just something about watching that little twig just start to branch out and grow. Turn into like a mini like bonsai. Right. I'm not into soft corals. I, I, I tried it for a little bit, but they just didn't have that same appeal. So I did have a couple of soft corals. I have some remnants of some Kenya trees that I just, every time I cut it out, one girl that just keeps growing back. But uh, they just don't do anything for me. So the LPS, watching that skeleton grow and the colors, and that, that always appeals to me. And same thing with the torches. Oh, they go from one head into multiple heads. And I love it, you know, and, uh, but it is very sensitive. It's a delicate balance is what it is, especially when you're doing a mixed reef, you know, that I didn't do it over again. I would specifically just do an acro tank and not, and I can, I don't have to worry about the flow, maybe not even the sand, but I'm happy with this. You know, it's a lot of work, but I enjoy it. With, uh, with all the SPS and the tank being on the little bit on the small sand and it's super packed, do you have issues with the flow? Was it hard to adjust it to? to make sure that the sand wasn't blowing all over the place? As long, the, again, because of the way the rock structure is and how I angle the Nero 5s yeah. to uh, go, uh, I have a child mode on, so they do an anti sink and it hits the acro, so it breaks it up real nice. So I don't ha I'm fortunate where I don't have that issue. I tried messing around and moving the jarvies to the side and putting the Neros in the back and uh, the torches didn't like it. So I, just, I went back to the old way and left it alone. I would like to upgrade and I'm thinking, seriously thinking about putting, replacing the drivers with MP40s in the back. Okay. Just doing my research and making sure that that's the right move because I think the will be enough for this tank. Yeah. I mean, uh, everything's happy though, you know? And yeah, well, I mess with it. Yeah. I'm, exactly. I'm gonna, you know, but you know, that's what this hobby is. Yeah, yeah but it, yeah. Yeah. I don't, don't yeah. fix it. All right. So, gotta ask you, what are we using for light? So, that's a, a Lula Magic Blaze X. Okay. It's, it's uh, the four foot light. And then I have two uh, Lula Magic uh, Mita Minis. Okay. I, I love their lights. I had this. How long you been using them for? I've been using it since I started back up in this hobby. So when I started doing my research, I saw that uh, you know in Australia, you know, the blade, they, they use the Blaze X for great success. I was able to get my hands on a two foot one, and it's been nonstop ever since. I, I love the light, Ooh. and uh, it just blankets everything and gives nice color. I'm always fragging, trimming. As you can see, I get a little die off from shading. Yeah. You know, and uh, some of it you just it's just part of the hobby. You just gotta let it let it go where it goes and so that i try and save and move and it's not easy no no but it's fun that's that's the whole point how often you feed them uh i'm fortunate because of how everything is run i uh look a low nutrient tank so i can feed this tank heavily so on certain days it's six times a day okay. when i'm at work you know it's maybe two times a day because i, just, I don't have time i'm not here watching the tank so i do about 90 mls of alk and 90 mls of the calcium trying to get a uh, that dialed in but i'm not chasing the numbers anymore okay. that was one thing i was doing uh for a long time was chasing those numbers and i was a headache and once i realized that just watch the tank and what uh response out of the tank is doing yeah you never stay one number and you stick to it correct and uh 
So I have Red Sea, uh, a, uh, a, B, and C. I uh, okay. dose uh, once a day. Not a lot, just 0.5 mLs uh, at noon. And uh, I am dosing nitrates because, again, I, uh, it's a low-nutrient tank. It just, yeah, it looks pretty clean. Yeah, so I, I do dose about 5 to 7 mLs of nitrates a day. I think that's about it. I was dosing magnesium, but my magnesium got a little too high, so I cut that off, and I'm just letting water changes and uh, and the code A, code B just maintain it. What plans do you have for the future? Uh, I'm happy with this for now, but down the road, I would like to get a six foot or eight foot tank and uh, really, really do it right with a calcium reactor and you the whole thing. I got time. I got time. So, well, Al, well, thank you. The tank looks beautiful, man. Thank you for letting us come into your house and show this to everyone. We appreciate your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. You guys have it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like. If you have any comments, post them below. We'll see you guys soon.